Hey, a friend, Chris here from White Logic Pro Rules, the website and channel that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Today, I want to share with you a couple of quick tips for better handling of plugin windows as you're working in Logic Pro, because I think we've all been in this situation where you start to open plugins across the mixer, the inspector, and pretty soon you've got hundreds of plugin windows open and it's a pain to you know navigate through them to close them down. There's a better way. Now, I'm not talking about the plugin manager, but I'll include a link in the description below to a video all about the plugin manager if you want to learn more. I'm talking specifically plugin windows. So we have a base channel strip here. And as I pop open these plugins, you know, there's a lot of plugins on this channel strip. And pretty soon it's just craziness, right? Craziness on screen to get to the 2 BQ or, oh, wait, what's this? Distortion, channel EQ. You know, this is way too much. So quick tip number one is to temporarily hide plugins. So let's say you're making some adjustments in your EQ or any plugin for that matter. And you decide, you know what? I want to double check something in the tracks area, in the mixer, in an editor, but I don't want to close all these plugins down. I just want to temporarily hide them. Well, to do that, all you have to do is press one key on your Mac's keyboard, and that's V. I like to think of vanish. So if you want to temporarily hide or vanish the plugin windows, just press V. And now I can zoom in on my base and say, oh, okay, yeah, I want to make this edit real quick, paste it there, maybe open the mixer, make an adjustment of a fader. All right, and now I want to get back to my plugins. So let's press V again. Oh, yeah, and now we can make adjustments as necessary. All right, quick tip number two is to close all plugin windows at the same exact time with a single click. So we have all these plugins open and it's a pain to, you know, close them individually. This is generally just not a good use of your time. Instead, if you hold shift on your Mac's keyboard and click on that red circle in the upper left-hand corner of a plugin window, just one of them, all of the plugins that were open now close down at the same exact time. So once again, check it out. Instead of me having to close down these plugin windows one at a time, I can just hold shift and click. And it doesn't matter if they're on the same channel strip or not. Right, so these are two separate plugins on two separate channel strips. I can hide them by pressing V temporarily and bring them back and hold shift and click. All right, quick tip number three is some of us may just be completely overwhelmed by all the plugin windows. You rather just work in one window and not a whole bunch. Well, if we once again open a plugin, in the upper right hand corner of the plugin window is this link icon. If you click on it, initially it will turn purple. This is the single mode for window linking for the plugins. So now if I click on any other plugin in the mixer or inspector, the plugin window updates and you only have one plugin from here on out. Right? So just one plugin window, the plugin in focus that you clicked on, and you won't have a pile of plugins on screen anymore. Right there, several quick tips for better managing a plugin windows in your Logic Pro project. So you can just be in the mode of creating and not managing thousands of windows. And also be sure to check out the description below. I'll include links to other Why Logic Pro Rules videos all about plugin management. All right, I'll talk to you later this week. Take care.